In a welcoming hair salon, two artists are dedicated to making people look beautiful. This is a little bitty piece, okay? Because you like right in there, just too much gold. But what they do here is more than your average cut and blow dry. They light up hope for those whose hearts have been darkened by cancer. Judy, the owner of the salon, has been styling hair for almost 20 years now. Hair was my niche. I really enjoy doing hair. Connie, a former beauty school classmate of Judy's, reached out a helping hand 17 years ago and has been working here ever since. <laughs> it's really boring. Two years ago, when American Cancer Society asked if they would like to volunteer to fit wigs for cancer patients, they agreed without hesitation. Their inspiration was a dear old friend named Susie, who is a breast cancer survivor. We've been friends for years. She came down with cancer five years ago. When I got up to take a shower, it just fell out like a cancer person. I mean, that's when it hit me that I really had cancer because I looked like a cancer patient. It was very hard, and I saw how very hard it was for her. I called her on the phone, I was crying, and she, it was a Saturday, and she met me in to, at the shop, and she shaved my head. And we both bawled our eyes out, and I still get pretty emotional when I think about it. Seeing her go through that, that triggered something. All the girls were so good to me every Friday. They made it like a birthday party. Pizza! Whatever it took to do, they would do it for me. When I did wigs for her, I even tried wigs on and acted like rock stars. Just to make me smile. So, woo! <laughs> to make light of it. Doesn't that look good on you, Missy? To keep your morale up, knowing that no matter if you have hair or not, you're still you. Look how pretty you can be. Maybe because of Susie's strong will to survive, all the laughter they brought to her life. A miracle happened. <laughs> Susie conquered cancer, and her hair is growing back. That's why I encouraged her when the Cancer Society asked her if she would do this. I said, Judy, you need to go do this. This is your calling. You have to because you brought me this far. The calling has been answered, and for the past two years, Judy and Connie have devoted their free time and energy to cancer patients, helping them find their lost esteem by making them feel beautiful and alive again. I put these wigs on them and their face automatically just glows. You make someone go from, you know, walking in like this to walking out like that. It kind of puts all, everything in perspective. It really makes my heart warm that I do something like that. Seeing them walk out like that, it's like, yeah. It's like, that away, girl, or I don't know. It's just, it just makes you feel good, just really good. They take time out of their daily life to do this for people, and I think it's just great. I can make someone else feel better when they're going through that hell. You know, why not? It's just deep inside me. I wish there was more people that would do stuff like that. It would be wonderful just to come here and see the happiness. <laughs> when I see the smiles on people's face, and I've made them happy, that's my happiest moment. It is.